hello today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make herb rice okay so herb rice consists of an array of different herbs your favorite flavor and blend is what you can use typically but let's go to the rice first right here I have two cups of jasmine rice um, it's been soaking for about two hours and I rinsed it like four or five times already and I'm going to give it another good rinse, but typically to make herb rice, you want your rice to soak in some water for about an hour or two, okay? The herbs that I'm using are gonna be dill. I have some cilantro. I also have some uh, crushed garlic. In here I have some powdered thyme and a little bit of curry. And here I have some chopped fresh parsley. I'm also going to be using some uh, thinly sliced green onions. Okay, I'm going to use like about a cup, all right? And in here, I have some yellow onion and some vegetable oil. I want these to be um, completely cooked until they're golden and crispy, okay? And I'll show you how I'm going to incorporate this in the dish. Okay, so I have the rice's boiling water seasoned with some salt. I went ahead and add some turmeric and some cumin, um, cumin, turmeric, and some curry, just to flavor the, the water as it's boiling the rice. And here I have my onion slivers that I've um, sliced really thinly. You can use shallots if you prefer, but pretty much this is just gonna be used as a topping for the rice, it's gonna give it that crunch. After you've um, fried them, you wanna go ahead and put them on a paper towel just to try to get um, all the excess um, oil out. But you want that chewy and crunchy um, texture. You're gonna be having this rice boil for about a good 30 to 40, well, I'd say more like 30 minutes. You, you don't want it to be fully cooked, but you do want to be stirring it from time to time. You want it to still have like a little al dente bite to it. So what that would look like is if you were to um, bite one of the rice kernels and it has like a little white dot in the center, that would be considered um, al dente. You don't want it to overcook. You want it to still keep its form, okay? Okay, so I have drained the rice, and as you can see, um, it's not completely cooked. It's got a little of an al dente bite to it. Um, so here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare the pan to continue steaming it, but this time we're going to um, include and infuse all of the herbs. For the oil that I'm going to use, I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit of the oil that we used to crisp the onions with and to this I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and um, crisp the, the garlic and then I'm going to add a little bit of the rice and then the herbs and we're going to go ahead and put those together. So you can see that it's quickly starting to get a little brown. You want the garlic to have a little crunch to it. Now I've added a little bit of the green onions, half of the green onions to be exact. And then to this, I'm gonna go ahead and start adding in the rice. So as you cook the rice, you're gonna give it, a, you wanna be gentle with it because you don't want it to break, you want it to keep its form. But you do want to give it like a little crispy exterior to it, almost like a fried rice. And I'm gonna start adding in the herbs. I've added the dill. We're just going to fold the seasons and the herbs in. I've added the parsley. And you can, um, you can serve this with a smoked salmon. You can also do it with like a grilled chicken breast. 
You can also do steak. Um, it goes with pretty much anything, any kind of protein you want to add to it. Okay, I went ahead and put a couple slices and slivers of butter. What I'm going to do now, the, the rice is really moist still, and I'm going to just cover this up um, with the lid, and I'm going to let it continue to steam for like about 10 minutes, um, and then it should be, re should be done. Okay, it is done. So you can see that it is moist, but not mushy. Um, the rice grains have their own um, form and you want to make sure that you season it prior to the final steam. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So, pretty much you can use your favorite herbs. They don't have to be the ones that I've selected. The key to making this dish is rinsing it, soaking it, and then whatever uh, flavors and seasonings on the in the water that you choose to boil it in is what the rice is going to pick up. Now for this specific rice, it picked up the curry and it picked up the turmeric really nicely. And it, um, and it enhances the flavors of the other herbs that I've chosen, which were the parsley, the cilantro, and the green onion. So, thanks for watching. I hope you guys give this a try. Take care and God bless.